what we're trying to do is to release the myofascial component of it, which are the fibrotic ligaments, the fibrotic joint capsules, and the transverso spinalis muscles, particularly rotatories, the short rota rotatory, which is the most uh, damaging because it's got such a short lever that it can pull on the uh, locked facet joint above. It pulls from below and can lock the facet joint uh, closed on the ipsilateral side, as you can see in the video here. All right, so now we're going to put Terry in the fetal position because we're asking the facet joints, when we put her in a fetal position, we're asking them to do what? Open or close? We're asking them to open because we're asking the superior vertebra to open on its inferior neighbor. I'm going to t ask Terry to take this knee, a top and bottom, take this hand, put it b b under two, and once I get in here, I'm going to start down here at L5, and I'm just going to ask her to just pull that knee up, crunch it up towards your chest, and let it back down. And yeah, just keep that down. Go let it down a little bit further each uh, down. That's perfect. Now bring it on way up to your chest. Perfect. And now I'm just coming up segment by segment, trying to feel if anything is pushing it back against me. If the facet joint is not opening, it's going to change the axis of rotation and cause the facet joint to push back against me. And so that's when I know I've got dysfunction. Okay, I've got something right here, and this is a little higher than I expected, but it's pushing back against me here. So I'm going to keep an uh, anterior cephalward pressure to try to ask those joints to release. In other words, ask the soft tissues that are restraining joint motion to release. And it's starting to go. 